Hello, my name is Krste and with uh, today's video, I'd like to show you something uh, special in Katia B5, what I have, have added. So first I will uh, open a Volvo logo. This is uh, you are probably familiar with that. I like to show you how I ever did this one. It's very simple uh, construction. It's not uh, so complicated. First of all, I have did this sketch like this one here. And after that, when it's everything is finished and constrained it and dimensioned, I'm going out. And uh, I take a shaft and I have this one here. Okay, then after that I I'm taking this little segment there and this look like the, that. So I did dimension two to that and I'm going out and I screwed this one. I, I'm doing the pad, for example, and I have um, this thickness, okay? And now I'm doing this one here. So this look like this. Oops. Okay, this look like this, dimensioning, and go out, extruding with pad, and I have this symmetry here, okay? Uh, I have uh, did some edges and it's very small dimension. And now maybe for a lot of people, the problem is the text, how people can write text. And uh, first I must construct this here when I can uh, write a text before I did that. So I'm going out. So, and uh, now here is the text. Uh, this text is insert from uh, from here. I have a Volvo logo DFX like this one. You should uh, mark this one like this and Control C, copy, and after that you go to the, uh, the Volvo logo, and here you mark this one and Control V, and after that you. Uh, take uh, here, for example, your scale, if you like to rotate and like like that. Anyways, everything is finished. You have a center of this text and a go out and everything is finished. After that, you can take a painting and, and the Volvo logo is finished. I think it's uh, pretty good, very beautiful. I like that. So, so now it's finished. Okay, I can close this one. Uh, and uh, here it is one uh, product I call the differential gear house. Uh, oh, and um, I think this is very beautiful. There are many parts here. So now I would like to expand this one so you can see then in assembly mode, it's look like this, close. Okay, you have a many parts here and everything is, uh, is uh, explained here. 
there will be taken a long time how I have a deed, but uh, I'd like to take just tutorial to show that this is a big project. It's, it's, it's um, you can do that um, um, for one or two hours. Maybe you must work in a lot of um, time. Okay, and uh, after that, I uh, did um, uh, uh, differential. I did one uh, exploded for you here. So here you have uh, all the parts, like uh, this one this is uh, the differential gear and and so on, so on. Differential flying or everything you can read. You can stop the video and read what I did here. So now I will close this project and I will open uh, okay, I will open one uh, clutch. Uh, okay, and here is the assembly for the clutch. They will take in some time because they are a big project. And they look like this when it's finished. So I will expand this picture to uh, this uh, model to you. And they look at like this. So now something is wrong here, but um, I must working to do that uh, with this plate. I will go out and uh, open the exploded view of the <clears throat> How is look at one is I, I did the, the all parts in in uh, assembly. So here it is. So you can read uh, what parts going in. Okay, I'm closing this one. I'm open um, this uh, sub assembly of the uh, Drive plate. This is very beautiful. So now I will like to expand this one so you can see that this here is is real, is good, is beautiful. I like that. Okay. So now I will close this one and I open the. Uh, I will open the driving. Okay, this look like this. If you like to read um, all the parts, you can continue here. It will take in a long time if I'm doing this all. Okay, now we'll go to the next project. What I did, I show. I'd like to show what I did in Katia V5. This is in Swedish, I will call that motor, but in English will be the engine. Here is the assembly of this engine. So, uh, I will take this one here. I'd like to manipulate only the focus if we see only what can I do now? Mm -hmm. Start assembly. Okay, so 
So I will do this one here and this one. I will try to rotate this one. But this is laptop, it's not uh, a real computer, so you can manipulate easy. Because there are a lot of uh, parts here and there's the big files and uh, they take uh, much of the memory. So you see everything here, the piston, and the crankshaft and so on, so on. Okay, now I will open uh, uh, actually before I do that, I'd like to, to uh, assembly in a exploded view. So you see all the parts which goes in, in this uh, construction. Okay, I will close this one now and I will open the uh, drafting. Okay, so here it is. So it's look like this. Uh, so now this one is in Swedish because I live in Sweden and I'm searching job in Sweden. So uh, I did on the language I have. I use it in words, Swedish. Okay, if you like, if you are familiar with Swedish, you can read everything here, what is time. Okay, and closing this one, I will open uh, here is the something we call the ventil system in Swedish. Uh, large icons. And uh, you should see how it's look at this one. So uh, I will manipulate. So it's look everything. Even this one is uh, did in in um, uh, Swedish. I mean the language is Swedish. So now I will open the exploded view from this system. Uh, if you are familiar with Swedish, you can read this one. So if I can explain in English, that will take me a long time. So I will like to expand even this one here. So it's look like this. So I'm going out here from this. Okay. I will open uh, this is a, a water pump, a uh, water open. Just a moment, I must take a large icons here. It's look like this. Okay, I will. Let's look like this. So now I will <clears throat> like to expand this one so you can see how many parts that's going in. I call that Volvo Vatten Pump. Even this one is in Swedish. So 
Now I will open uh, the drafting. So the language is Swedish even here. So for the people who can the language can read what is the name of the element I have constructing here. So uh, I will open transmission. Okay, and here is the assembly. And this is the transmission. There are many axes here. So if I am taking to the shading with material, that will look at like this. So I will expand this one now. So you can see what kind of parts coming in. So it look like this when I have a painting. It's pretty beautiful. I like that. So now I'll open the drafting model too. It's look like this here. So even this one is in Swedish. Okay. Yes. Um, file open, so we open something. Else. And here's an, another motor block I did. The large, okay, here it is. Even this one I have a constructing with the cylinder in. It's beautiful, I think. So, uh, okay, uh, here I'm stopping. Uh, thank you very much. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like, you can write uh, something about uh, this video and uh, if you enjoy you can subscribe and thank you very much see you again next time thank you goodbye